If you do a little research on org mode, you'll find videos and websites extolling the extraordinary complexity of the program, the versatility, and you'll find people who've made extraordinary systems to manage their, their daily workflow. Those are mostly Infotech people, and that's not who I am. I'm a professor, I do a lot of research, I do a fair bit of teaching, and I do some HTML coding to communicate with students and colleagues. And what I want to stress about org mode is the act, actually the opposite, how simple it is to use this program and how much it simplifies your life, particularly when you're moving between, say, a Linux machine at home and a Windows machine at work, or maybe a Mac machine at work and a Windows machine at home. In particular, I like the what I think is the killer app of org mode, and that is this list management function. So here we're looking at typical uh, lists of things to do. And I'm just going to hit the tab key to expand the, the list. I can see from the ellipses here that under my subheadings, I've got further items listed there. And I'm going to go down there and hit, hit tab. And then I can see, OK, even under my Google Earth assignment, I've got a list of things to do there. So that's the basic idea, the list fold. It's an outline format, but very hard to find this sort of thing with the cross-platform availability that you can find in org mode. I really like this checklist function. So I'm going to expand that by hitting tab. So I'm going to hit some keys here and check off some items. And then even when this is folded up, I can still see you know, how many items are underneath there that I have yet to do. By holding down a few keys, I'm going to cycle through a variety of different list formats. I can also very quickly reorder any of these items that we've been been looking at. Lists are especially useful if you can get them into HTML. If you've done much work with Microsoft Word, you know a lot of extra code will get dumped in. That's not really the case with with org mode. So even though we could we could highlight, cut, and paste, I'm going to go in, into the drop down menu. But that's a nice way of, of getting to learn the program. I'm going to go into the Export Publish area. Got a lot of interesting technical options here. But I just want to open this up in my browser as HTML. So I'm going to hit B. That's going to bring things up in Firefox. And here we can see a very nicely formatted HTML version of that file with a table of contents, which is really useful when these files get a little bit long. And then very nice formatting for all the different, different aspects. Now, sometimes what you really want to do is uh, dump your list into Zotero or dump your list into Blackboard to show your students. And that's easy to do as well. So again, we're going to go back to org and go to export publish. And this time we're going to choose the plain vanilla H for export as HTML. And that's going to put it into the clipboard. And then we're going to go open up a bit notepad style program, hit control V, and there's that uh, HTML. This is the most valuable and the most rapidly learned of org modes and many functions. And I hope you give this a try.